Well, just like the last video, I'm still on fluorescent lights, but I'm under the fixtures that break just like the tubes do, or they stop working anyway. And what I had was four, I actually had five, one was completely broken. Then I had four of these fixtures where one side would work and the other, other one wouldn't. So apparently the electronics are independent on each side. So I figured that I'd try to take the electronics from one, or at least figure out what was broken first, and then take the broken electronics out of the one and replace it with a good one of another one, and make a, one good fixture out of two bad ones. So I've taken it apart, and these are all the insides here. Um, and I knew that ballasts, they really don't go bad unless they burn out. I know that's not what happened here. So I thought, what else can go bad? Is there anything else electronic in here? And it turns out there is. I believe this is a capacitor. And these apparently go bad. There's not really nothing else that I could ever see that would. So, what I did is I figured out which side, or which end of the fixture goes to what side. And then I, I desoldered the capacitor out of that one. And I took one from the other one and put a new one in. So I'm in progress in my second one. After I found that the first one worked, you now I have a, a one good one, I have two bad ones. Here is the one, the broken side. Well, actually, this was the good side. The one over there is broken, the capacitor, apparently. And this one was good. So I desoldered the capacitor. And here is that capacitor. This is a good one. All right, and this fixture over here, that one's bad. The one on the other side over there is good. So if I replace this one over here with this good one, that will make this fixture a good fixture, and both of these will work. I marked it on here that one was a good side and one was a bad side. So when I replace with this capacitor that does work, which worked in the other fixture, I should have one completely good fixture out of it, and that will be my second one. So I'll just uh, show you very simply. Um, I didn't film the whole thing up to this point, so all I did was very simply I cut the lead or I cut the wire on going to this side of the capacitor. And then the other side went into the ballast. So I just desoldered that, cut that off, and brought it over here. And I'll show you the rest of it. Alright, so on the bad side of the other one. Alright, so what I did is I cut out one side of it, which I, th I believe I've already done, yep. And then I just kind of took the other side of the wire. Made it so it was easy to take out once I started melting the solder. I just did that to make it easier to come out. And then just desoldered this leg. Like that. And then this whole thing should just come out of here. Like that. And this is the bad one. And then I just put the new one in here. Just bent the wire a little bit. Get to stay in there a little better. Push this one in the place. And then what I had to do was actually solder these two together. I trim this lead a little bit. And then just have to solder everything back. And then back to the other side. And then before putting it all back together, I'll just test both sides out. Alright, and then over there I had the, it labeled what sides were good and bad. And I can just start off by putting it in the bad side just to 
I'll start off by putting it on the good side. Because I know this side always worked. This is to show that the bulb works. This was the side that always worked. And then the side that I just fixed. Or I replaced the capacitor, hopefully fixing it. This side didn't work before, but it should now with that new capacitor. There it goes. So now both sides work because of the capacitor. It buzzes a little bit because this is actually a bad bulb. Well, that's it. That's how I took four broken fixtures and made two good ones out of it. It's pretty straightforward. All I did was have to figure out what actually went bad inside of the unit and replace the bad stuff with the good stuff. So now this whole one is a good, a good working fixture, and that one has two bad sides because one capacitor is missing. So I'll just throw out the two bad ones and keep the two good ones instead of throwing out all four. All right, so it's, been, it's also pretty easy to take off as well. There's two little tabs that go on here. You just to, to stick a screwdriver there and push it down to get past this little notch on here. And then to take it apart from here, there are little tiny notches on here. You use a screwdriver on that too, and it just comes right off. So overall, it's pretty simple. It takes me about 10 minutes, and it saves me $15. So it's well worth it. Well, so here's the finished product. Unfortunately, I don't have any good bulbs to test it. I've got out of those 15 that I had before, the four that would flicker and on and off. Those are the only bulbs that I have handy right now. So I can use those to show you that both sides work now. The lights cause it to buzz a lot. The bulbs are bad. Well, just for the video, I stole two bulbs out of the ceiling. Just to show you that it works good now. This side was the one that I didn't even touch. So I, there was nothing changed on this side. This is a good bulb, so it doesn't flicker like these two do over here. This is another good bulb. I took it out of the ceiling. It shouldn't flicker at all. Nope. They both work just fine. Still makes a little bit of a buzzing noise. Alright, so there it is. Now you can see that uh, both sides are working. It's not flickering anymore because these are good bulbs. Well, that's it. That's how I took four bad fixtures and took uh, the good components out of two of them and replaced the bad components in the other two. So out of four broken ones, I got two working ones. So these here are the two perfectly good ones that I took the good stuff out of these. So now I can throw out two instead of four. They were about 15 bucks each to buy, so that means it saves about $30. And I also learned a little how these things work, so well worth it. And also here's the electronic shelf left over with the two bad capacitors that I desoldered and replaced that are, are taken out of those two and replaced with the good ones from those. And then here's what's left over. You have the actual ballast. And then that's a bad capacitor in there. That was the good one that I took out. This is another good one that I took out. And there's the other bad one over there to the other one.